I've learned that more and more. <laughs> I don't know why I'm about to cry and get emotional. I've learned that more and more um, as an adult that it's very important. Girl, Lala Milan, and I'm back with a whole nother video. Happy Blackmas! Day three. Okay, so I'm so excited. One, because I've been consecutive for three days. And if you know me, you know that's very difficult. But I'm doing it, and I'm so proud. I'm so happy to be, you know, spending so much time with y'all here on YouTube and just letting y'all get to know me a little bit more, you know, on a personal aspect, obviously, because it's more vlogging instead of like entertaining and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. So I'm extremely excited just to be having this time with y'all. So if you're new to my channel, I want to say welcome, welcome. Okay, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you come back okay and also if you're returning i want to say welcome back i really really appreciate y'all for being a part of the la la squad it means the world to me so today's video is about to be super cute um informative not even informative let me not say informative uh super cute entertaining and of the past if you will. So, as you could tell, obviously, by the title, um, it's a story time. And I really, 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 really want to go ahead and tell y'all about one of my most favorite Christmases ever. Um, and yeah, here we go. So, um, one thing that y'all may or may not know, if you've really been following me, is that my mom's birthday is on Christmas, right? And, um, Obviously, having a birthday on Christmas, it's a situation of not being able to have birth, both Christmas gifts and birthday gifts, you know, and I always felt like if I had my birthday like that, I would hate it because I need to be able to celebrate twice. So, something that I've started doing, you know, with more time is basically just making sure that I give my mom at least two gifts. I don't know which one is for Christmas and I don't know which one is for her birthday, but at the end of the day, it's up to her as long as I do my part of making sure that she gets more than one gift, right? Um, so let's talk about the time where I surprised the mess out of her for Christmas slash her birthday. Long story short, I was living in LA and something about my mom is that she really, 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 really likes what she likes and she wants it when she wants it. So she's the type of person to say, oh, I want this. I really, really want this. I would love if I could have this. She's going to tell you so many ways, so many ways, so many times that she wants something and that's her, you know? So whenever she says that, I'd be listening to her, you know? Um, so this particular year, um, I had basically heard her say over and over how much she wanted a pug, you know, she would send me pictures of the pug and she would basically all the time just be like, yeah, if only I had a pug and it's so crazy. I just, I just need a little pug. All I want is a simple little dog and a companion. Okay, mom, I hear you, right? But see, it was Christmas and her birthday, so I had to go above and beyond. Um, at this time, she hadn't seen my brother, Jamil, the problem child, um, in years, right? So I was like, you know, instead of me just bringing my mom a pug and flying into town and give her a pug, you know, let me let me do something bigger than that because a pug is cool. It's a dog and everything like that. But I don't have any kids, but I assume that there's nothing greater than being able to spend time with your children. 
Um, I've learned that more and more. <laughs> I don't know why I'm about to cry and get emotional. I've learned that more and more um, as an adult that it's very important to spend time with your kids and with your loved ones, right? Excuse me, y'all. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> So, anyways, on this year, she hadn't seen my brother, and, you know, she was very emotional behind it, and um, I was like, I'm going to make that happen. She was like, I haven't been able to see none of my kids. I haven't been able to spend any time, and mind you, this was pre-COVID. Um, I guess I'm, I'm probably shedding tears because she's complaining the same complaint right now, and it's because of COVID. Um but um, I was like, we going, I'm going to figure it out. And I'm very much so the type where I like to, I like to make other people feel good. You know, my life is amazing. My life is way more than what I could have even imagined. So, um, and there's not much that excites me anymore because I've gotten so used to everything being so great, honestly. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me to, make her feel special for me to make her feel great, you know, and feel how, how a mom deserves to feel, especially on her birthday and for Christmas. So anyways, I decided to, I thought there was a hummingbird outside. I decided to go ahead and not only get her the dog, I decided to fly my brother Jamil in and he's one year younger than me. And then also you can't have both the siblings fly in and not bring in a third child, which is my younger brother, Corinne. Um, and he lives in New York. Both of them are now living uh, up north. But anyways, the reason why she hadn't seen Jamil in so long is because um, Jamil was in Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where we're from. He was basically just in Pittsburgh, you know, not doing too well at that time. And it was one of those things where he was in and out of trouble, you know, um, and that's the most I'll say on that because that's his business and I'm not going to share it. But um, thankfully, he's doing better now. But my mom was just always worried about him. She was always praying for him. She was always complaining about him and always stressing about him, you know, and I was like, this is going to be the perfect time to set this up. So anyways, fast forward, I came into town and um, I had Avi um, with me. And I had, at the time, little girl. That was what I named my mom's dog with me in the crate with Avi. So when I got into the house, my mom had no idea that um, she had no idea that I had uh, her surprise dog with me. And um, she came, you know, into the room. And I was like, wait, mom, wait. I opened the door and the dog ran out to her and she completely lost it. She couldn't believe it, you know? Um, she was like, oh my God, freaking out, wanting to tear up. She's very dramatic. Um, and it was such a good moment, right? Um, but that wasn't it. That wasn't all I had in store for her. She thought that it was just me and a dog. Little did she know, you know, I like to do things above and beyond. So... Uh, the next day, um, which was, I want to say it was Christmas Day. Yeah, it was actually Christmas Day. Um, somebody, she here, I'm texting my brother. First of all, let me give y'all the backstory. I'm texting my brother, Jamil, and I'm like, you know, what's going on? And his communication is lax. I don't know what was going on with his phone, but I thought that he wasn't, I thought that he didn't make it into town when I paid for his ticket and stuff. So I'm crying and I told my mom, you know, mom, Jamil was supposed to be here and he's not going to be able to make it. And I just can't believe it. I hate it. You know, and I'm just boohoo crying and I was dead serious. Um, but, um, uh, anyways, so now back to that day, I'm really thinking he's not coming. We hear a knock at the door, but he had text. He said he he called and he was like, uh, prior to he was like, he's like, yeah, I couldn't get good service. You know, he's like, I'm on the way, and I was like, oh shoot. So we he um 
he called and told me that. And I'm like, okay, cool, play, cool. So we hear banging at the door. I know who it is. So I turn the camera on, you know. And um, next thing you know, my mom is downstairs and she's like, She's like, who is that at my door? Who's banging on the door like that? I don't know. And I'm like, Ma, I don't know who that is. That's crazy. Who's banging on your door like that? You know? And next thing you know, um, she opens the door. She's like, ah! honey, her knees buckle. She fell. My brother, thank God, he could hold her because she fell and he had to hold her up. She couldn't contain herself. And... It was so cool just watching her freak out because she hadn't seen my brother. She was already already worried about him and he showed up, um, you know, and that was really, 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 God, that was such a good moment because I was worried about my brother too. Um, a lot of times, and y'all could probably relate to this, uh, there is that family member a lot of times where you are, you worry about them, you know? Um, you know that they are very capable of being great and everything like that, but sometimes you don't know if they see their own potential. And that was very much so the case at that time, you know, with my brother. So it was so good to see my mom, see her son for the first time in a long time. Um, and just basically appreciate his presence. You know, he felt the love too. And it was a very, very good moment. So that was part two of the surprise, right? So my mom, after this, after me and Jamil are already around the house, she's like, well, that was so good. If you do any more surprises, I ain't going to be able to help it. All I'm missing is Corinne. I sure do wish Corinne was here. I just hate that Corinne's not here, you know? And, but little did she know, Corinne was on his way, you know? Um, so, I had went downstairs and I had unlocked the uh, door because I was letting Corinne in the back. Um, and so I had went upstairs and I told him, wait for me to text you to come upstairs um, because I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare. So, and that I'm making sure that she's sitting down because obviously she's dramatic and I don't need her to fall out and, you know, it'd be a whole liability. But um, next thing you know, y'all, um... I go ahead and text Corinne and then I turn on the camera and Corinne walks in. My mom like shoots up in the air. Ah! That's really how she sounds. And I was just like, oh my God. Like she was like screaming. She she lost it every single time she lost it. And it was just so funny um, to see because at that moment I knew that both, both her birthday and Christmas was complete for her. You know, it was, it was beautiful. It was the best, it was the best Christmas ever. Um, at that time, that was when I was just getting, you know, um, I was just starting to rise financially, you know, to the point where I could do great things like that. And I was so happy to do that. Um, that Christmas, um, my boyfriend at that time had got me, he got me earrings, you know, uh, I always would wear his earrings, so he ended up giving me diamond earrings, which was really, really nice, honey. Um, and he had drove into town and stuff like that, and, um, that was great and everything, but the ultimate feeling for me was making somebody else feel good, particularly my mom. Every opportunity that I get, I am going to shower my mom, you know? I'm going to make sure that she's good. Now, a lot of times, she will try to abuse the privilege, and I got to know the difference between her needs and her wants. And when it makes sense, you know, um, for her wants, I'm going to do it. But she deserved to see her kids. She deserved a dog. You know, she's retired. She don't do nothing really. Let her tell us she's the most active person ever, but she's not. You know, um, and she be, she don't, she just be chilling and she's young. She's a young mom. She's not an old, you know, anything like that. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was, that was a very, very, very fire Christmas for me and just talking about it is getting me excited um 
for the next holidays and stuff to come. I don't know exactly what it is that I'm doing um, just yet uh, for Christmas or anything. Um, I hate that I'm not going to be there to spend it with her this year. Um, but yeah, I, I do know um, I'm doing a birthday shoot for her, which she's extremely excited about. Um, so I'm going to pick out everything like that, her clothes and everything. So that's going to be really cute. But um, yeah, that is a recap of my most favorite Christmas thus far. And for those of y'all who did not catch it, uh, I actually recorded that whole, whole, whole story that I just told y'all and um, uploaded it um, two years ago. So if you haven't seen that video and my story wasn't enough and you want to see the visual component, make sure that you go ahead and watch that video and get into it. And you will definitely understand the excitement and everything like that that I was talking about. But also, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you comment, okay? I'm constantly looking in the comments to see what it is that you guys um, want to see from me during this Vlogmas time. Take advantage because I'm going to tell you this. This ain't going to be a regular thing outside of December, okay? <laughs> but y'all already know, honey. It's your girl, Lala Milan. I love y'all for real. And until next time, bye!